Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at brake pedal height adjustments um, and checking procedure. So the first step we're going to have to do is remove the floor mat. Uh, that has got to get out of the way. The procedures can be found on ProDemand as you can see listed. You're going to need a tape measure and then some light and a little bit of patience. The first thing I want to show you is where you're going to where you're going to measure from. Depending on where your tape measure is, you will get different measurements. This is the incorrect place here. The correct place is directly behind the brake pedal. This height should be measured first before any brake application is done. Compare that to specifications. Next, you can see I'm pushing lightly on the brake pedal and we're checking for free play. So you're not applying the brake pedal, you're not putting pressure on the master cylinder, you're checking for just play in the pedal mechanism itself. You can see here, there's a pretty excessive amount. Again, take that reading and compare it to your specifications. The last thing we need to measure is depressed brake pedal height. So before I actually measure correctly, I'm going to show you with the engine off. You'll notice I don't get very much movement. Now my procedure tells me I need to start the engine, apply 110 pounds of force to the brake pedal with engine running. That allows the booster to help me apply my brake. You can see I get a lot more pedal travel. I'm going to hold it down, take my measurement, and then again compare it to specifications. What I would like to show you next is I have printed off my vehicle specification sheet. Here I have my depressed height, my free height. It tells me how much force to put on the brake pedal and to do it with the engine running or off. It's in inches or millimeters, so depending on the, the measurement tool that I'm using, I'm able to determine if I'm within specs. All right, I've made some adjustments, and now I'm going to uh, just get the pedal settled back in. So I'm moving it back and forth way further than it needs to be. Now I'm checking free play, and you can tell already it's a lot less than what we had before. Very close to manufacturer specifications. Now again, I've made my adjustments, and I've just double-checked before applying the pedal the first time that I still had correct pedal height unapplied pressure. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually checking the brake pedal with the engine on running and applying pressure to the pedal. What you'll notice is my depression will actually start to decrease. I've now shut the engine off and you'll see that the power booster is no longer aiding me in applying brake pressure so the pedal won't go down near as far. Now we're just about ready to return this vehicle to the customer. But before we do, we need to reinstall the floor mat and be sure it doesn't interfere with the brake pedal or gas pedal. The reason I did not show you guys the specific procedure was it varies from vehicle to vehicle. So be sure to look up specific for your vehicle. Some vehicles are not adjustable, which indicates a problem elsewhere. 